Ovipardi, ovovivipardi, vivipardi. What in the world are these terms? Welcome to Educate. Today we're going to be talking about uh, ovipardi, ovovivipardi, and vivipardi as our reproductive strategies in this topic. Remember that this topic is about the reproductive strategies in vertebrates. So we have got these three terms, ovipardi, of ovipar and vivipar. So what is ov ovipar exactly? How do you even differentiate those three things? Because we, we must have differences between them. Okay, so let's see on what criteria do we base our differences. So here, when I look first, um, where the zygote is formed. So we'll check on where the zygote is formed. So when you're talking about the zygote, we're talking about the combination of a male and a female gamete, which is the sperm and an egg cell. So when they combine, they form a zygote. So when we talk about uh, the place where the zygote is formed, we can differentiate into these groups of vipari, of ovivipari, and so on. So here, where development occurs, where does the zygote develop? And then we're going to look at how, at how the embryo receives its nourishment or its nutrition. How does it feed its young? And then the type of egg or the presence or an absence of egg, meaning that are they eggs in the reproduction or are they no eggs in the reproduction? So let us compare on this. So we've got ovipari, ovovivipari, vivipar. So here we start talking about fertilization. So fertilization, first of all, for the ovipara species, fertilization is external or internal. So it means it is what? It is either external or it can be internal. So it can happen outside or inside. And then as for ovovivipari, it is internal and vivipara is also internal. And then development of an embryo, remember that when a zygote, which is a combination of a sperm cell and an egg cell, it develops, it develops into something called an embryo. So here the development of an, an, an embryo in ovipara species, the, it develops external to the body of the female, that it develops outside the body of the female. So it is what? It is ovipara because it is what? Developing outside the female um, or external to the body of this female. So this is what? Outside the female body. And then as for ovovivipari, it is inside the body of the female, the embryo. And for vivipari as well, it's inside the female's body. And then we go to our nutrition. Nutrition just talks about food or how do you get food. So here our nutrition or our nourishment, we are talking about what? As for ovipari, the yolk is the only form of nutrition for the developing embryo and is usually present in small quantities. So here we have got what? Yolk. Yolk is what? It is the form of nutrition only for the what? For the developing embryo. But then it is usually present in small quantities as for ovipary species. As for ovovivipary species, the yolk present in the egg, there is yolk indeed in the egg, and the young are independent of their mother's body. So it means that the young do not really need the mother's body, they just need the yolk to give them nutrition. And then for vivipari, the young receive nutrition from the mother's body. So this is actually different from over vivipari. It is because these are receiving what? Their nutrition from the mother's body through the placenta, just like us humans. And then the type of egg. First of all, as for ovipari, the egg is jelly-like. So it means it is not that hard. And then, or it says calcareous. So it is either jelly-like or calcareous. And then as for the ovovivipari, it is calcareous or leathery, more like leather. But then as for vivipari species, there is no egg. So examples most of the times on ovipari, they usually use frogs. Frogs go through internal fertilization, even some other type of fish. So there's some other type of fish that does what, that go through the ovipari, whereby they release gametes into the water and then external fertilization takes place. So it's usually frogs and fish. And then as for the ovovivipari, as most reptiles, reptiles, 
as for or yeah as for ovoviviparity is reptiles yeah and other type of fish as well so it depends on what type of fish there is but then i challenge you to also go look for examples of ovoviviparity species and then for viviparity most of the times is mammals so when we're talking about mammals we are talking about those animals that feed that breast feed they are young so we are talking about us humans we are talking about chimpanzees we're talking about crocodiles we're talking about all of those type of animals so this is what this is actually your ovipari of ovipari and your vivipari terms it is all about reproduction thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe tell your friends to stay tuned